Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here with WP Central and today's first look is Alien News. It's an application dedicated to the website Reddit, which is similar to Dig, but I would say it's a much better community and definitely cooler than Dig. Um, Reddit is a social news aggregation site where people submit articles on various topics and in subcategories and then basically discuss them. And it's a really vibrant community, it's a lot of fun, and it's a huge time waster, so I'm very excited to see an application dedicated to it for Windows Phone 7. Uh, this app comes in two flavors. There's an uh, ad-supported free version, and then there's an ad-free version for 99 cents. Um, I'm a big fan of having two options for people, and I think it's a great idea. And you see the application loads pretty fast. Uh, you have your front page with your and your different categories here. Uh, you can, oh, let me do that differently. You can scroll down. You can, of course, add your own uh, categories just by hitting the plus sign. And if you scroll over, you have your login information for posting replies and voting up and down, which is a big part of the community. Uh, it's pretty basic, but it actually works really well. We'll hit the front page here. It loads very quickly, which is always a nice thing, and scrolling is actually very smooth on it, as you can see here. And it brings down everything really quickly. Uh, images work very well on it. So there you go, it loads very quickly. This is on Wi-Fi, of course, but as you can see, uh, it still loads very quickly. Uh, you can hop into different articles. There's a lot of breaking news and kind of uh, interesting political discussions. Uh, sometimes stuff doesn't load, so, you know, sometimes it's... You, there it goes, okay. So it's actually loading up a website within uh, the application. So it's like Mobile Internet Explorer within it. Now if you want to do comments or voting, it's a little tricky and it's I think it needs to be refined a little bit. So I'll show you. Just click on the little uh, bubbles here. And this will take a second. But it's going to load all the comments to the article. And you can see this part takes a little while. And there it goes. So now we have all the comments. You can scroll through. Now, if you want to vote on something, it's a little weird. It looks like you just click on it, and then you get the vote up, vote down, or you can type in reply directly. Uh, the voting thing is not too bad, but there's no clear indication that I voted or downvoted, so um, it's a little bizarre right now, but uh, it's not too bad. I think it works, so I'd have to check to see it's actually registering my vote. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's really nice. I love being able to view the images. Uh, you know, you can do, of course, YouTube videos. Um, and you can slide over and you have on your front page new, uh, controversial, these kind of things. Uh, overall, you know, I'm a huge Reddit fan, so I'm very excited to see this app brought over. There's a similar one on Android done by the same company. Uh, and it's really good. Uh, try the ad-supported version. You know, give it a shot and if you like it. Grab the 99 cent one. But um, there you go. Hope you enjoy it.